Hello, in this video we're going to do a third degree price discrimination problem. So we have a firm that sells its product in two markets. A domestic market where demand is given by the following. And a foreign market, and here's the demand in the foreign market. Uh, the firm's total cost is C equals 100 plus 10Q. 100 is a fixed cost. The variable cost is 10 times Q. If we're to take the derivative of the cost equation, we'll see that Marshall costs are constant at $10. Let's calculate the firm's profit if it uses third-degree price discrimination. First thing we're going to do, we're going to solve for the inverse demand in each market. That means price will be a function of quantity. So I'm going to take these equations up here, and I'm going to solve them both for the price term. So here is the domestic inverse demand. Price is a function of quantity. And doing the same thing for the uh, foreign market, taking the foreign market demand and solving for the price, we get the inverse demand in the foreign market. The next step is to solve for total revenue in each market. We're going to use those inverse demands that we just solved for, and from those we're going to drive total revenue in each market. So for the domestic market, total revenue is price times quantity. For the price term, I'm going to put in 110 minus Q. So make a substitution in for the price, and that's all multiplied by the domestic quantity. And just multiplying this Q through, we get the following result, 110 minus Q squared. Taking the derivative of that, uh, which we'll do in the next slide, we're going to get marginal revenue. But before we do that, let's go to the foreign market and get its total revenue. So same thing, total revenue in the foreign market is the price in the foreign market times the quantity in the foreign market. Making a substitution for the price term and then simplifying, we get this result. And again, the next thing we'll be doing is getting marginal revenue. So solve for the marginal revenue in each market. So in the domestic market, we found total revenue equals this. The derivative of that with respect to quantity is marginal revenue. You'll notice this marginal revenue equation is the domestic market's inverse demand equation, but with a slope that is twice as steep. So instead of 120 minus Q, it's 100, or 110 minus Q, it's 110 minus 2Q. Uh, in the foreign market, uh, we found total revenue equals 30 minus Q squared. Taking the derivative of that, we get this result. And again, this is like the inverse demand in the foreign market, but with a slope that is twice as steep. The next step is we're going to maximize profit in each market. Again, we're doing the third degree price discrimination strategy, which is to set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost in each market or in each market segment. So doing that in the domestic market, 110 minus 2 times the quantity equals the marginal cost of 10. Solving for Q, okay, 100 divided by 2, we're going to sell 50 units in the domestic market. And let's go ahead and get the price. We're going to take that 50 and we're going to plug it into the inverse demand. So the firm will sell 50 units in the domestic market at a price of $60. And in the foreign market, setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost, subtracting 10 from both sides, and then dividing through by 2 here. Uh, this firm will sell 10 units in the foreign market, and at a price of plugging 10 into the inverse demand in the foreign market, at a price of $20 each. Now let's solve for the profit by using this third degree price discrimination strategy. So in the domestic market, total revenue is the price times quantity, 60 times 50 here, so $3,000. And in the foreign market, total revenue is 10 units sold at $20 a piece, $200. And total cost overall is we are producing 60 units, 50 plus 10. And plugging that 60 into our total cost equation, uh, 600 plus 100, total cost is $700. So now calculating total profit here. Total profit or profit is 
total revenue in both markets minus total cost, and we get total profit of $2,500. We're going to calculate the firm's profit if it cannot price discriminate. That is, it has to charge only one price for its output. So in this problem, where the firm cannot price discriminate, we are going to need to calculate the total market demand, which is domestic demand plus foreign demand. So the total market demand is domestic demand plus foreign demand. So I just make a substitution, 110 minus P plus 30 minus P, and we get total market demand of 140 minus 2p. The next step is to take that total market demand and solve it for price to get inverse demand. So dividing through by 2, the inverse demand is 70 minus 1 half q, or 0 0.5q. And like before, we're going to get total revenue. So total revenue Plugging in 70 minus 1 half Q for P and simplifying, here's total revenue. As before, we'll get now marginal revenue. Taking the derivative, marginal revenue is 70 minus Q. Setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Marginal cost is $10, so the quantity would be 60. And solving for the price, plugging that 60 into the inverse demand for the total market, 70 minus 30, we get a price of $40. Uh, let's plug the price uh, equal to $40 into the domestic and foreign demand. So plugging that into the um, domestic demand, we see that the quantity is 70. Okay, And this is sort of kind of strange because we found that Q equals 60. So what's going on here? If we plug this 40 into the foreign demand, we get quantity of negative 10. The quantity can't be zero. So this indicates that we should not be selling any units in the foreign market. At a price of $40, the, the, the people in the foreign market are not going to buy any units. Uh, this $40 doesn't appear on the demand curve. Um, so the firm should only sell to the domestic market if it cannot price discriminate. Profits would be higher here. So in the domestic market, here's our total revenue, here's our marginal revenue, and set that equal to marginal cost. Solving for the quantity. If this firm is going to only sell to one market, it's going to sell to the domestic market, and it's not going to sell 70 units. It should sell 50 units at a price of $60, not at a price, as we found in the last screen, at $40. So the profit here is much higher. Okay, um, I hope you found this video helpful.